Uh, well, first of all, uh, this spring I will be 40 years in this business. 30 of those were in Florida. So I have a keen appreciation for the importance of Latin America market, and particularly Colombia, Argentina, uh, some of the major, same market, major markets down there. Certainly the pandemic has caused a lot of issues as it relates to who can travel and who is a, wants to try, or who, who can, who wants to, and who can. Uh, our Asian markets have been challenged uh, uh, in a big way right now, and are way down compared to where they've been in the past. And then just due to various travel restrictions over the course of the pandemic, uh, people haven't been able to travel like they normally do. So, as was said in this press conference this morning, the Latin American market has been a loyal market, has been a powerful, strong market for all these years. And even in a, a, a time when travel has been challenged, our Latin American friends who love the U.S. and who particularly love the state of Florida have been coming in, in strong numbers. So we're very excited about that support, about those, that visitation, and the fact that they've made the top ten. Uh, particularly for international travel when it was literally shut down as a result of the pandemic, uh, as it should have been. We, this generation, the generation I'm, I'm in, has have never, I've always had to contemplate the idea of maybe having a, to deal with a pandemic, but never really thought it would happen. But so when it came, uh, we had to learn how to do what, how to, how to deal with it. Uh, so our organization was also shut, basically shut down. With no international travel, we had to scale back our activities and our budget, and we were waiting for a lot of things to happen, not the least of which for our board of now we can get to recovery. Uh, our United Stories campaign, uh, which is our consumer-facing campaign, says that the story about the United States is being told by many voices for decades. Our job is to bring all those voices together, those united voices, to talk about what makes the USA one of the most aspirational destinations in the world. So when our borders open in November, we launched the campaign. We had to stop with our rival of Omicron, Omicron 2. A lot of things going on around the world we paused. But here at IPW, we're relaunching that campaign and saying that we're taking that message and reminding people why they love the U.S. So to our friends in Latin America, in Colombia and Argentina, uh, we so appreciate uh, your love for our country, your love uh, to travel to our country. And I will tell you, everything that you've been, that you've experienced when you've been here for the first time, or if you've always dreamed about coming and you haven't come, we're ready and, 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 uh, and willing and able to uh, deliver all of that like you had hoped, and hoped for and otherwise experienced, so come on and visit.